Now let's set up our base template, which will mean that if we need to create any other pages down the line, these will be easy to extend and we can keep exactly the same structure. You may remember doing something like require header.php and then somewhere down here require footer.php and then in here would go your content. And this is kind of exactly what we're doing. So under views, I'm going to create a new folder called templates and I'm going to create one template. You can create other templates for different kinds of pages, but we're just going to have a default template. I'm going to call this default.twig. So inside of here, we want to generate some HTML and you can go ahead and copy this, but essentially this is just a plain uh, document layout. So up here, we can give this a title, so Destructy. And obviously we want all of our content to sit just in here. So to actually pull our content in with Twig, we use blocks. So we say block content, end block. So how do we use this template on home? Well, it's pretty straightforward. All we do is at the top of this page, we say that we want to extend that template. So we give the full path to it. So it's templates slash default dot twig. And then we define the block here with all of the content in. And what that will do is it will place your content just here. So we'll see how this works. So over on home, we say block content down here. We end that block and in here we say home. So now if we head over to this page and refresh, it doesn't look too much different, but you can see we have our title here. And if we view the page source, you can see that we've got everything and it's placed that content within here. So whenever you need to create a new page and you've built your design within here and you've maybe loaded in style sheets or you've loaded in scripts down here, you can just create a new file, extend this template and include content. And in the next video, we're going to be doing just that by pulling in Twitter bootstrap and we're going to be creating a container within here. And, uh, then we can eventually build up our form on our homepage, which will allow us to send a message.